Hello beautiful women, how are you? I have such an important question to ask you. Are you ready for 2018? On this video today, I'm gonna share with you three tips to help you accomplish so much on 2018 and crush this year. And my friend Isabelle and I, we have a very, very amazing gift for you. So if you want to participate on the promotion that we have, just watch until the end of this video because I will give you more detail, okay? So please come with me and if you didn't subscribe to my channel yet, please do right now. Let's go! <music> So tip number one, I usually start my year in the end of the previous year and what I do, which is really important and really makes a different difference for me, is to do a retrospective of the year that just has passed. Like right now, November and December is usually a time that I use to look back on my year and see the things that I accomplished, what I have planned, if I was able to ac accomplish those things and what I could improve for my next year. And do you know, have you heard, I, I bet you did because I've been counting and I've been hearing this so many times since November. So many people, when I go to the gym, the teacher says, Oh my gosh, can you believe that is already Christmas? Or when I go to the grocery store and I see someone, Oh my God, we are in December already. How did this year pass so fast? Or have you even said those things? I used to say those things all the time. But you know why those things happen? Because we don't allow time for us to plan before the year starts. And when the year ends, we don't usually look back and see month by month what were the things that we accomplished, what we did, what we learned. So when we don't stop to look into detail on those things, we forget how much we have done, how much we have accomplished and how the year had really 12 months. So this is my tip number one. Just stop for an hour at any time during November or December. Look back into your year. Go January. What I did on January. I did this, I did that, what I did in February and go along until today. And also think about, oh, in 2007 and 2016, what were the things that I wanted to accomplish in 2017? Well, was I able to do those things? So this already sets the tone for your planning in 2018 because you already know the things that worked for you on this year and you already know the things that are lacking, the things that you have to work um, harder on your 2018. And here comes my tip number two. When you are trying to achieve a goal or you know to get something that seems really far away, don't focus on that. Focus on the milestones to get there. And to focus on the milestones to get there, you have to plan because you have to analyze all the steps that you have to take to accomplish whatever you want to accomplish. So for example, on 2017, this was the year that I decided that I wanted to build my own practice online and that I wanted to coach immigrant women. And when I saw this in the beginning of the year, I was like, oh my God, this is such a huge thing. How will I be able to build an entire business on my own by myself? I don't know. So I got help, of course. And one thing that my coach did with me was sit your butt down on the chair and plan. I spent an entire month planning and understanding what were the steps that I needed to take day by day, week by week, month by month to get to the end of the year, which was actually September and launch my business and to start having clients right away. And one thing that I did that really helped me 
uh, realize those milestones that I was achieving was to do something fun after I accomplished them. For example, I, want, I, I had to create my own website. So after I did that, I went with my husband to have dinner and to celebrate that thing because it was, I had to put a lot of effort, a lot of energy, it was really stressful, but I really, I, I, I did it. And that was an important thing to make my business happen. So this is the type of thing that you have to do, especially when you have a big goal. Because if you don't do that, the goal, it just becomes too overwhelming. And even to look that, you already get scared. So if you focus on the little things, the little steps that are right in front of you, you can accomplish your bigger goal much faster than you think. So put those fun things along the way so you don't feel that you work all the time and also you get, you keep yourself motivated. This brings me to my third tip, which is get a planner. If you didn't get a planner yet, please do. So I just got my planner, it didn't arrive yet but there is a motivational speaker called Jim Rohn that he says something that really struck me and I took to my life, which is don't start your day before you finish it in your mind. So it's really important to have a sense even in a day, because sometimes we can say the same thing in the end of the day that we say in December, like, oh my gosh, it's already 10 p.m. and I didn't even see the day passing. Why? Because you were just, you know, on an emergency mode, doing things here, doing things there, without even thinking, why am I doing this? Is this important for my goal? Am I going to accomplish something with this? And he also says that the biggest mistake that we do is to give a lot of time to things that are minor and very little time to the things that are really important. So when we plan, we avoid this mechanism to happen. We avoid spending too much time on Facebook. We avoid, you know, just running around like a crazy chicken in the house, not accomplishing anything. So start your day planning your day. This is the best thing you can do to change your life and to get to December and say, wow, I have done so much this year, I cannot even believe that December arrived and I did so much. So, this is the giveaway that I'm so excited to share then. Because if you didn't have a planner yet, and you obviously after this video realize how important it is to plan your year and your day and your week, Coach Isabelle and I are doing a giveaway on Instagram and that's so awesome. I'm so excited because I got this planner for myself and she got this planner as well. So we decided to do a giveaway together and give two planners, so one for you and one for your friend. So the only thing you have to do is go to her Instagram because the official post is, is on her page. I will leave the link of her page below and go to her giveaway post and read the rules there and uh, do what the rules are saying so you can, that's gonna be your entry for the, the giveaway. And uh, by December 15th, we are going to randomly choose a name and we will send the planner to you. So you can start planning your year. And it's such an amazing, beautiful, gorgeous planner from Daniela Port. I will leave a picture here so you can see it. Uh -huh. And I'm so excited of this giveaway because I think it's a great thing to, to give back to my community because you guys are so awesome and I know that you are trying to improve your life, to you know do things in a different way to get a better results. So getting a planner is definitely something really important. If you like this video, please put a thumbs up for me 
and uh, I'm so grateful that you watched the whole thing, that you were here with me learning new things, and uh, I see you guys next week. So, beijos, bye.